Esmeralda. You can call me Wes, and welcome to Wonder Wes. Uh, I've been holding off on doing this little series of quests for a while. Uh, it's for after defeating Argus, and I mean, is he really defeated? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. So, anyways, Sargeras here, he got mad, and he he basically shoved his giant, clearly an arms warrior two-handed sword, into, presumably, the heart of Azeroth. That's what we're looking at here. Um, now, I started this by turning in the quest and picking up a few other quests here. It's sabotage and free samples. Silithus, the wound. Yes. So it's pretty, oh my goodness. Hello effects. It's pretty epic here. Uh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I, I We're going to have to get used to seeing this stuff right here because um, uh, I think it's that's going to be everything. So we've got to pick up some samples and we have to go uh, play some explosives, I guess, because I don't know. I think there's goblins or something. I'm not really sure. Let's take a look here. Um, the Horde has wasted no time in shamelessly extracting this mysterious ore from the Great Wound. Luckily for us, goblin engineering is not nearly as sophisticated as what we create in Nomergon. All it takes is a little bit of old-fashioned dynamite to completely disable a goblin shredder. What unsophisticated machinery! Take these dynamite bundles and plant them on the inactive shredders around the mining camp. It'll take those greedy goblins weeks to get back up and running again. Oh, oh, my friends, the gnomes. Uh, free samples is, uh, the Crown has ordered SI7 to infiltrate the goblin mining operation and collect any information we can find on this mysterious new substance. My agents have infiltrated the camp, but the clock is ticking and we need to get our hands on some extracted ore te samples fast. I can read, really. Um, in other words... I need someone who can take the direct approach. Well, that's me. Someone who can handle a fight against overwhelming odds and come out alive. Well, we'll see. Take the ore samples to Cargus Stone Mantle. Ah, uh, it's Cargus. Like, R RK. Cargus Stone Mantle for analysis when you return. You definitely want to pronounce analysis right. All right, so those are our two quests. So let's go do that. Uh, inactive Shredders. So this is my first time kind of running around this area, or flying around as the case may be. But, um, yeah, we need some shredders. Uh, to find some shredders, maybe? Oh man, look at all this. Should we just, should we just, I see nothing. I see zero things. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hi guys! Oh my goodness. Listen to those goblins. Listen to them die. Uh, you're probably hearing a lot of my tapping, so... Um, just a little FYI about me and World of Warcraft. No, I would not like to start a loot appraiser window. A little note about me is that uh, I, I tap my keyboard very loudly. Uh, I do not have a mechanical keyboard. Thank, uh, thank whomever. Uh, and, but... But yeah, it's still pretty loud. You dead. There we go. I was pretty excited because uh, earlier today I noticed that I had enough Wakening Essences to upgrade uh, or to get another legendary roll. So I was festooned with this. Ayala's Stone Heart. I've been waiting for that, like, basically since I hit level 110. Uh, it's one of the best in slot. Arms Warrior legendaries. And uh, that, and I have the gloves now, so I'm set. I'm I'm not even gonna sim. I'm just I'm just totally set. By the way, gearing in this expansion, especially for endgame, seems really, really super complicated. Like, between only being able to equip two legendaries and... Was there something? Oh, yeah. I have to place some explosives here. 
um, between the two legendaries at a time, and then you have all the legendaries, and they're all good for different sort of things. Um, it's just very, very complicated, and I just do not have the patience for that. He's gonna throw dynamite at me. That's a little unsafe. I'm right here. It's not like I'm arranged. It's not like I'm ranged and I'm and I'm far away or anything. Oh, let's go over here as fast as we can. I want to use up that. There we go. I got it. Now, what you're asking about this probably? You're like, what is that big pulsing thing in the middle of her screen, and why? Why? Uh, well, that's just to let me know that I need a moral strike. Um, lets me know when my shattered defenses are up, so. <laughs> Fancy that. It's- it's me trying to be not a baddie. Trying. Not succeeding, but- but I'm- I'm trying my best. You know what I wish they would do in- in the expansions? Give you choices of your voice for different races. Like, all female humans have the same voice. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll re-roll Wes. Uh, that's my- that's my main character and the <laughs> namesake for this channel. Um, perhaps at some point I will re-roll her into a cult human? I don't know what they sound like yet because I haven't really paid attention. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Um, for Battle for Azeroth. I'm trying. It's kind of a- it's kind of an uphill battle. You know what I mean? Alright, we got two more dynamites to place. Bombs to place. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I really want to just mine this stuff. Please, can I- I, I mean, I'm going to get my wish. But I want to do it now. Okay, where are you? There you go. A couple more. Alright, I think these guys are going to be... Alright, let's just blade storm and forget about it. There we go. Are you dead yet? No? Wow. Why did that take so long? Alright, so this should be the last of our bombs. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Is it gonna cut scene? No, we're gonna turn it in. Okay, let's go turn in these quests and see where we are from here. I'm really hoping this isn't all of the quests here because, you know. I wanted to really have an experience. I, I I finished the raid tier, which was kind of like the first raid tier all expansion that I've actually played. And I'm really excited about it. I might have waited, you know, a, a month or two to finish this quest line, but please make it more than these two quests. All right, little Kelsey Steel Spark, I'm here. You're, oh, she is just, she is super cool. Look at those glasses, by the way. Are those goggles available in game? I really hope so. <laughs> My, you're a tall one. Well, I could be taller. Great work, Wesmerelda. I'm okay. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do my gnome voice. I'm not. I'm not. Great work, Wesmerelda. With the Shredder's sabotage, the Bill's Water Cartel mining operations will grind to a halt. Good job, me. And for it, I get 19 gold and 40 silver. That is, that, that's a lot. Hey, Cargus. Let me take a look at Cargus here. Is there anything? He's got a lamp on his, on his little mining helmet. And it, it looks like it's lit by a candle, but it looks kind of like an Argusian candle. Are you seeing that? Are, am I the only one who thinks it's an Argusian? I, I, I don't know. Is it Argonite? Is it an Argonite candle? You know take Argonite candle, Cargus. I think that's not your real name. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this in. Here there. What have you got for me? Okay, no, no, no dwarf voice either. Okay. I've got eight mysterious ore. What are you going to do with it? I've never seen anything like this before. I'll get to work examining it at once. That's really hard to say. Examining it. All right. Be good. How long do I have to wait, Cargus? What can it be? Are you done? Okay, yeah, he's done. Let's go back. We've got more quests, so that's good. 
Okay, are we gonna, are we gonna like, I'm sad that I didn't get to see any explosions. You need something? Uh, desert research. The dark blade of Sargeras has cast a shadow of destruction over this land. It seemed that the Silithid hives were destroyed in the attack, but I have received reports that the Silithid are returning. We need to find out how the Silithid avoided destruction and what effect the blade is having on their hives. The crown wants surviving Silithid dissected and studied. Ew! Tammy Tinkspinner is conducting the research and is in need of a collector. I need to speak with Tammy Tinkspinner. It's also a very cool name. Is this the first Tammy in World of Warcraft? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. The Twilight Survivor. Silithus used to be overrun with members of the Twilight's Hammer. The cult was presumed to be exterminated, but it has always survived in the shadows. Their numbers have dwindled, but the cult remains no less fanatical than at their peak. Most of the cultists here were destroyed by Sargeras in the attack, but a few still remain. Their leader, Michel Voidstrider, has been emboldened by the destruction of Silithus. Did you see how I just, that, that Michel just rolled off my tongue there? I, there was a pause. We cannot let Michel rally the remaining survivors to action. He must be stopped. Oh, it's a he. Okay. I mean, I just assumed it was a girl. Uh, retrieve Michelle Voidstrider's head. Oh! Have a good one. Well, okay, I'm glad it's not a girl, because I don't know if I can decapitate a lady. Oh, there she is, Tammy. Hello. How are your glasses? They're not as cool as her glasses. Kelsey's got better glasses than you, Tammy. Tammy and Kelsey, I think, need to fight over who's got the best gnome glasses. My, okay. you're a tall one. Oh, hey, your voice is a little deeper. You're here to collect the samples? Let's get started. Uh, oh, another couple quests. So, I I have been blessed with more quests. Uh, although the Silith had disappeared for a time, immediately following the destruction of Silithus, they have recently returned from beneath the ground. These new Silithids seem stronger than before. My hypothesis is that the Silithid are feeding on some kind of power source beneath the Blade of Sargeras. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. I've been tasked with studying the effects that this mysterious power is having on the Silithid hives. Bring me as many intact Silithid brains as you can carry and I'll begin the research. This is reminding me a little bit of the Gates of Ankaraj quest where you're collecting all of the this the Silithid Karapaches is what I used to call them. Carapaces? Carapaces? I don't really know how that's pronounced, but I collected a crap ton of them uh, before Cataclysm. Okay. I need to collect ten of them. Well, at least that's that's this is a smaller number than what I collected of the Carapaches. Alright. Larva by the dozen. How did the Silithid survive the Blade of Sargeras? I'm perplexed. I've never encountered a species that can adapt to changes in the environment as quickly as the Silithid can. The larvae, as broodlings as they are often called, or broodlings, I can read. Uh, they can evolve into a variety of Silithid creature types based on the needs of the hive. Is it the hive mind that signals the evolutionary development of the larvae? Or is it some environmental factor at play? Science must find the answer! Yes, we need 12 of those. Off and away. Broodlings. Oh god, I hope they don't dissect the little broodlings. That's gonna make me sad. Alright, anybody else have any quests? Going, going. Ooh, nap time. Alright, we'll wait for nap time later. Let's go! Here we go. Wee! I got a brain. Well, that's debatable. All right, can I? I'm just gonna wait for the mortal strike. There you go, and you're dead. Oh, pile of pet kitties. Don't mind if I do. Yes, gotta collect. Uh, um, I'm trying to get to a thousand, um, and then I'm gonna need to collect. I don't really need to collect any more, I guess. But I, I'm looking for a thousand because there's a toy that I want. Oh, look at all these broodlings. I'm gonna grab that one and that one, and look how cute they are. Okay, do, 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 do. there's a whole mess of broodlings here. Oh, okay. Oh no! Don't kill it! Wee! I like playing Arms Warrior, I do. Uh, oh, we're done with the brains. Ooh, what is this? 
Oroshex. Oroshex. Alright, we're gonna fight him. He is a rare elite! I did not know that that was a thing. Oh my goodness, he ramrodded me right over to the wall here. We'll just stay here near the wall, I think. Oh, he gave me order resources. Just what I always wanted. All right, we need to get Michelle Voidstrider's head. He's over that away. It's a pleasant thought. I'm just going to whirlwind it right off. Or maybe my blade storm will be back up. Blade storm. Funny story. The uh the pet when they first released raid pets, and you got to collect pets from Nax Ramus, etc. I was really excited. I was like, if they don't release a little mini Marogar and have him bone storm, I'm gonna be real upset. So, um, much to my delight, when I think it was in was it Draenor? Yeah. I think in Warlords of Draenor when they released the Wrath Raid Pets. I was so excited! Uh, Mini Marogar, known as, I think he's called Bone something. I, I, I can't believe I don't know. Bone Storm. Bone Shard! There we go. I got two of him. Uh, I was very excited. Because, um... Bonestorm reminded me of Bladestorm, and I spent a lot of time in ICC. That was my first real raiding experience was in Wrath. And particularly in, in ICC. I liked it. Alright, Michelle. Hi. Do you know that your face isn't going to be on your face for much longer? It's exciting. There we go. Whee! I'm not going to Bladestorm it off, because... It just seems in bad taste. So he still has his head right there. Let's see if it disappears when I loot it. Nope, still there. All right, let's look at the little icon here. Where is his head? Where? Uh, uh, uh I can't see it. There's another. Ogmots the Mad. Let's go. Let's go kill him. I had no idea all this stuff was here. All right. Wee. Whirlwind! Interrupt! Did you see me click that interrupt? Yeah, because I'm such a good player. Oh, you can't fear him! Alright, now I'm gonna just blade storm because I don't even care anymore. I'm going around in circles. Alright. Give me something good! What did you get? Oh. Alright, you didn't last for very long. So I got artifact power. Oh, a whole 126 million. Well, that's a drop in the proverbial bucket. But I got a dream journal. The handwriting is barely legible, and the primitive sketches contained within are best described as unsettling. Okay, let's read it. Let's bring it to the center here. Ogmot was just puny boy fighting at the war camp when the masters first blessed me with the visions. I come to Silithus to do great wound, seeking wonders. Hey, you found me! Oh my god, that's exciting. Make Ogmot your vessel, master. Oh no. Last night, Ogmot dreams of great battle. Two fleets bashing on ocean of blood. Shadows twisting beneath the ships, rising. Now, I'm... It's weird. It's like going almost into troll territory. I'm gonna stop my little... My little voice acting. Uh... Shadows twisting beneath the ships, rising, rising. Ogmot so happy watching the carnage. Then Ogmot gets waked up by skittering sounds. Stupid bugs. Don't matter. Ogmot knows these dreams soon come true. Life comes back to this wasted land. First the bugs came. Now the gobbies skulking around. Gobbies! Oh my goodness. They crave into world blood. Ogmot am sure of it. Bah, let them have these drippings. Soon Ogmot gonna drink rivers of blood. The master's promise. Well, master's promise lots of things to Ogmot. And usually they do not, uh, 
Uh, they don't come through. I'm just saying. Today, smoke rises up from the campfire. Smoke tells Agma a good story. Agma sees Lady wrapped in dark swirlies. I love his descriptions. She leads herd of blind sheep. The sheepies follow her every place she go. <laughs> I want to see these sheepies. Are there sheepies around? Anybody? Okay. Um, do everything she say. Never doubt lady. She guide them over tall cliff. Splat, splat, splat. Stupid sheepies. The crows get fat eating the sheep flesh. The lady laugh as crows eat. Ogmot laugh too. Ha ha ha. Okay. That blade has shiny eye. Always watching us. Yes, it has a shiny eye. The three lies, the first one been told. Bound by that throne? No, free, free. The next gonna come soon. Maybe they see this one. Other hammers here now. They talk and talk about Argus. About the one that got wakened. About great victory that our enemy not even notice. But only Agma sees the visions. Other hammers not blessed by the masters. Agmat share his dreams with the others, but the skinny one just laugh. Agmat no like her. Many days pass with no visions. Did Agmat make the masters angry? Make me gonna sacrifice. Please, the masters, remember Agmat. The star watching Agmat. Too shiny. Where's the star? Is it that? I think it's that one, yeah. Agmat gonna hide from it. The dagger spoke true. It been too long since Agmat get drowned. Master, no forsake Agmat. The bones got picked clean, but Agmat still get no visions. The others laugh, say Agmat not devoted. But me is the chosen one. Agmat no lose faith. I kind of feel bad killing him. Another sacrifice? Yes. One more of them ain't gonna be missed. Roused by her screams, stirred by the whispers, a blessing comes from the masters. Now Agmat understand a door, a path, ours, ours. Fool, the circle awakened us all. Okay. Well, Agmat, your dream journal is crazy. Oh god, there he is. He is awakened! Ah! Get it? Okay. Let's go back and turn these in. Uh, I do hope you appreciate me going through and- Oh, there's a quest here. Hello? It's an outhouse. Uh, I, I, I know how these work. A wee bit of cloth. Westmerelda, is that you I hear wrestling about out there? It's me, Angus Stormbrew. There are cultists everywhere, so you best keep your voice down. Lean in close and cover your nose while we talk. Ew! This is the only outhouse in all of Silithus. Trust me, I spent hours looking all through the night. I decided to sneak in for a wee drop-off before the cultists woke up. But I've got a... a problem. There's no cloth to... you know... See if you can find me a wee bit of cloth and sneak it through the door. Oh gosh! He needs toilet paper? Well, we're gonna help you out. We can do this. Hi, guys. And they're dead. Oh, they have no cloth. I find that incredibly difficult to believe because they are ritualists, which are clearly clothies. Oh my goodness, this drop rate. <laughs> All right, let's just... Uh, they're actually a little beefy. You know, they're beefier than... I would have expected. Come on. Everybody come within Bladestorm range, please. Like, you see that? They're just... They're still alive. Now, I don't fight great right now. I'm not really trying. Oh god, it's Ogmont! Oh god, it's Ogmont! I'm not prepared for this. Yeah, this guy can come help me, because I don't really care. I'll help him kill his guys. Can I get some more silk, at least? He better have a little bit of silk. I mean, he's got at least three pieces there.
Is that another one? I gotta hit this guy because I want his silk. Alright, there we go. Two? Two measly silk for all those guys. Okay, whatever. We just need three more pieces and then we're good. One more. Oh. It'll be very convenient if you have a piece of silk. Oh, thank you. Finally. All right, let's give him some toilet paper. Do, 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 do. All right. Angus, we won't talk about this with anybody else. Aye, this will do nicely. Just give us a wee minute here. Okay. Ah, the silk feels better than rain on a summer morning. Oh, God. Now I'll just light a wee mat. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Angus. Run away! No, no, Angus! A oh, gosh. Odin's beard, I'm burning up! Okay, did you... Is he one of those new uh, dark iron doors with the fire? That was a close one. I'd better take inventory. Eyebrows, check. Beard, check. Pants? Oh, no. <laughs> ah! Forgot my pants! Uh, I'm not giving you mine, because they're barely there. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? Ouch. Is he going to walk all the way back? Eek. I kind of want to follow him. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, I think he's just going to, I think he's just going to walk all the way back. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we have to get back to the other side of this thing. Wow, we've come a long way. And I'm all the way zoomed out, too. That's crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> I think the sword might be a little big for me. I don't know. What is that down there? That's a little bit of... A little bit of Azerite, I think. I, I mean, spoiler alert, guys and gals in the Alliance. Um, I know what it is. Because the devs told us. It's Azerite. Um, apparently the, uh, battleground with the Azerite is out. I haven't run it because I barely ever do any PvPing. Although, I am working, uh, kind of close to... No, I'm not. I'm, I'm Prestige 2 Honor Level 19. I'm very, very far away from, from leveling up. And we're back. Tammy? I got some stuff for you. Here are the silithid brains. Oh, look at these big, beautiful brains. I can't wait to dig in. Thanks for your help, Lesmeralda. You can stay and watch if you want, but it may get a bit messy. Uh, no thanks. Uh, here are your broodlings. I see you have the broodlings. These will do nicely. Would you like to stay and watch me carefully dissect and catalog every detail of their anatomy? No! Very good. Thanks to you, we are now one step closer to understanding the effect that the blade is having on Silithus. Good. I'm glad to be of service. Okay, let's go in and talk to SI7, dude. Who talks like this? Nolan Speed. Okay, hold on a second. Is he supposed to be like Keanu Reeves? Nolan Speed? And li if you listen to his voice, he sounds like he's trying to do a Keanu Speed voice. What can I do for you? Uh, not really. Okay, we cannot allow the Twilight Hammers to regain their foothold in Silithus. Well, here you go. I see you have brought the head of Michelle Voidstrider. A gruesome task, but a net- Hey, get out of my RP, you amazingly festooned night elf. Okay. Uh, a gruesome task, but a necessary one. The Alliance thanks you for your service, Westmoreland. Well, I would should hope so. I've done a lot for the Alliance these past, what, nine years? The situation in Silithus appears to be gaining more attention. Archmage Cadgar just arrived while you were away. It seems that he is here to speak with you, Esmeralda. It appears urgent. I would speak with him as soon as possible. Ah! Cadgar and me go way back. He can wait. Uh-oh, he's standing in fire. Let's ch check this out, you guys. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Um... 
and toy box fire. Uh, let's do fell flame campfire. Oh god, no, that didn't work. Um, how about right here? It's not gonna put it where I want to put it, but we're gonna keep trying. Uh, not heirloom. Fire. Grim campfire? Item is not ready yet. Oh no! It gives me cooldown on all of my fires. Okay. Well, we got this fire. Cadgar! Hail and well met, champion. <laughs> he seems very excited. It's good to see you, Esmeralda. I wish that I were here under more pleasant circumstances. When is Cadgar ever around under pleasant circumstances? I ask you guys. Sargeras has left a scar upon our world, Wesmeralda. A scar that will not soon heal. It appears that the scars between the Alliance and Horde have yet to heal as well. Too many lives have already been lost fighting to save Azeroth from destruction. I will not stay and watch this world lose more. I have a request for you before I go. Where are you going, Cadgar? Dadgar, as some people call him. Take this letter to Magni Bronzebeard. He is in Silithus, seeking a way to heal the wound. The letter contains information that may prove valuable to him. I'm gonna read the letter. Without you, Kagar, where do you think you're going? Argus was a hollow one. With his final blow, Sargeras has done much more than bury his blade in the heart of our world. I had hoped that after the war against the Legion, the people of Azeroth would build a new future together. But now, the unity we forge has been shattered. As the life essence of Azeroth bleeds out, the leaders of the Alliance and Horde scramble to claim it as a resource. Blades are drawn, and the tides of war are rising once again. Fantastic. But I will not take up <laughs> arms against heroes on either side. Not after all we've been through. Come on, Cadgar, you're a human. I will go to Karazan and confer with my old mentor, Medine. What? Perhaps somewhere in his ancient texts lies the oh. knowledge needed to heal this world. I had best be going. Until next we meet. Farewell, champion. Like, he literally said farewell. Okay. Bye-bye, Cadgar. See you when we see you. <coughs> Let's go find Magni. Magni? Magni. Magni. Alright, where is he? Oh, he's far. Yeah, 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 he's far. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm flying more slowly. This is 310. All right. It's just a very large area. Here we are. We just have to look for this big diamond guy. Hey, Magni. What's up, brother? Can I just, um... Uh, don't worry. I've just got a little chisel here. I'm just gonna hammer here right on your shoulders. Take a little bit of that diamond. I speak for Azeroth. I have a- oh, I forgot to read the letter. Where's the letter? Where's the letter? Oh, it's a quest item that I cannot see. Okay. I can hear the cries of the world beneath my feet. Azeroth trembles in pain. I must find a way to ease the suffering. Kedgar asked me to deliver this letter. For Champion, it is good to see a familiar face in these dark... I like how his voice is Since returning from Argus, echoey. The cries of Azeroth have been overwhelming. Such pain. I don't know how to fix this. Not sure anyone does. But we've got to keep trying. The storm's gathering, hero. If we don't find a way to heal Azeroth, nothing else is going to matter. Okay. Well met. Thank you for delivering Cadgar's letter to me. I'm going to need some time to consider his words. If what he says is correct, we may be able to save Azeroth, but at great cost. Do the leaders of the Alliance and Horde even know what they're fighting over? 
This substance that's rising up from the wound is the lifeblood of Azeroth. We need to heal the wound, not exploit it for power. Azeroth is the only home we've got. We cannot allow her to die. I trust you, Esmeralda, and I know that your voice carries a great weight among the Alliance. You must reason with them to stop this madness. Tis the only hope our world has. We have to deliver Magni's message. Back to work! Who are we delivering it to? Oh, we gotta go back there. Okay. If you hear a little grumbling noise, that's my dog. He's hanging out in his bed underneath my desk. Recently cleaned the office again, rejiggered all of the electronics, did a little bit of cable management, although it's, it's far from perfect, but my dog Benny now has a nice cozy spot under the desk to to lay under and just chill. He's a good little guy. I'm back! And I've got a message. Can I help you? The blood of Azeroth? I'll make sure this news reaches Stormwind. I'm trying to do various voices for Nolan's speed, but I must continue the operation until I am ordered otherwise. Do we need to talk to Anduin? For the Alliance. I think we've got the situation in Silithus under control. SI7 can take the operation from here. Thanks again, Wesmeralda. So, like, the minute I bring Magni's message that, like, hey, we're not, we can't fight. This is actually, like, the blood of Azeroth. We gotta heal it. He's like, that's all right. We got it from here. I see. I, I, I see. Is that it? Is that, is that all? There's no more quests? Oh, man. I'm gonna go to Stormwind, I think. Yeah. Let's go to Stormwind. This is the real heart of Azeroth, if you ask me. Stormwind. Now, all you hordies out there, do not, do not get your panties in a bunch. You know, the fact that the Alliance hub is better than the Horde hub is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Manduin, what's happening? I see you've got, like, purple over there. That clashes a little bit with the blues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think that, uh... Do you think that I have a chance with, uh, Anduin? I mean, he needs a queen, right? He needs a queen. He's... I mean, he's 18, probably, right? Do you think he's... Do you think he's legal? Anyway... I'm way too old for him. Look at my gray hair. All right, no quests there. Well, I guess that's it for now, right? I guess. It it ended a little uh, a little abruptly, I have to say. Let's go to see if there's any other. There's a this and no. I think there's a little quest hub over here. Maybe just some time has to elapse. Or maybe that's it. I was expecting something more. Something better. Something greater. To end that off. So I have to think that there's something else. I just found out that there is a pet available from the rares. So, uh, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm gonna go through Oldham, and then we're going to- now we've- there are three rare spawns in Silithus. Zarshej, Synchrix, and Kroshek. Yes, those are the actual pronunciations, as, as I've just deemed. And they have a chance to drop the Silithid mini tank. And you know what? I'm pretty excited about that. There's also the Doomsayer's Robes, which is a toy that grants a Doomsayer disguise for 10 minutes on a one hour cooldown. So very exciting. Um, also, if you're a hunter, there, ha there are several tames that you can get. 
Yeah, we're going back to Silithus. 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 We're going back to Silithus. Yeah, I think so. If you know me, you know that I'm really into battle pets um, as much as I can be without going super, super crazy about it. Although I do have the trainer title. So yeah, a little bit crazy. I was wondering like, oh, where is Silithus? Yeah, just look for the giant sword. Now we're just going to fly over and look for stars. Uh, I don't exactly know where these rares reside. Might be something I should look up if I were a smarty, but I'm not, so <laughs> I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm guessing they're gonna be over around like here and here and here. So we're close to Hive Regal. Or is it Hive Regal? Oh god, that's one of them. Dead. He just died. His body is still there. All right, you guys, where? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ba -ba -ba. Give me that pet. Oh God, this little compatriots are coming after me. Hey. Oh, I love being a... I love being a warrior. Charge! Can I tell you how many times I've leapt, heroically leapt? Oh, order resources. I have heroically leapt out of the face of death. <laughs> We're gonna go back down to Hive Regal because I think these are on a daily cooldown. So... We just come down here um, every day until we get that pet. What say we? <laughs> Alright, let's look around. Oh, he's still at the Spitfire. This guy, I think, is looking for that, that rare. Oh, here it is. Good luck, everybody. I hope you all get the pet. I imagine some enterprising entrepreneurs on the server will actually, uh... Oh! Oh, I'm so sad. Well, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, when those other quests pop up, I would like to record another video and continue that because I would love to keep these quests all together and archived for all of humanity perpetually on the YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, let's give a good wave to y'all. Goodbye, you guys. Take care. See you next time. <laughs>